Mortal Kombat 1 is on the horizon, just a couple weeks away as of the time of this recording. And with that comes returning and new players alike. As a refresher, since this topic came up after Mortal Kombat 11's launch and tends to especially confuse those accustomed to other fighting games, there's a couple things of note regarding frame data in NRS titles. At the risk of stating the obvious, frame data doesn't work differently, but they do present it differently. At least it's been the case historically, and I don't expect that to change with Mortal Kombat 1. So what does that mean, NRS presents frame data differently? Essentially, startup and active frames have no overlap, meaning a 10 frame move can't punish negative 10. Only 9 frames or faster could. Mostly. One exception will be covered in a few minutes. Let's look at a couple other fighting games for some context and contrast. Here we are in Tekken 7, punishing negative 10 with a 10 frame jab. On to Street Fighter 6, punishing negative 4 with a 4 frame jab. And now Mortal Kombat 11, punishing negative 7 with a 7 frame jab. The frame data says Scorpion's negative 7 when blocked, and the move I'm using with Scarlet starts up in 7 frames, so what's the problem? This is probably best demonstrated with Street Fighter 6's frame meter. Jury's negative 4 after being blocked, and Chun Li punishes with a 4 frame jab. We see the jab startup is confirmed at 4 frames, but if we take a closer look at the frame meter below, it shows only 3 frames of startup. In most fighting games, the last startup frame and the first active frame are shared. That's why in some circles, Tekken and a Soul Calibur come to mind, you may see a move startup listed with the leading letter I. A move with a 10 frame startup can be written as 10 or I10, I meaning impact, representing the shared frame that is the last startup frame and the first active frame, or the earliest a move is able to hit. NRS, however, breaks this convention. The startup frames are the startup frames, and the active frames are the active frames. Thus, the 7 frame move in the earlier example can't punish negative 7 because it's not active until its 8th frame. The opponent would need to be negative 8 in order to be punished by a 7 frame move. Now, it's worth noting that special moves used as a reversal are an exception. Their frame data is still presented in the same way, but the last frame of block stun is removed when a special move is used in the reversal window, essentially granting an extra frame of advantage, meaning a 12 frame special uses a reversal is able to punish negative 12. And that's all I had to say on the topic. I hope this was helpful. Any questions can be left in the comments below. Also feel free to add any additional questions as content for this channel will likely continue with Mortal Kombat 1's launch. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.